I wonder, in factions, does using your shield actually do anything? Or is factions really designed for an earlier version of Minecraft? Hmm. It's a good question. Without any mobs around, I don't know how you would test it out. Other than getting into a direct fight with someone. And just in case we do get into a direct fight with someone, we should probably dump a lot of this extra stuff we're carrying. The extra armor and food and arrows. That can stay. But uh, this stuff can get stowed away. I tell you, it's later in the day, later at night. But I am still so full. I got some food from a, a local ramen shop today. And I don't know if you've ever had real Japanese ramen. Or if you've just had sort of the little cups of ramen or bags of ramen. But... The, this real Japanese ramen, it's, it's no comparison. What I had, instead of just being noodles and water, it was made uh, from a thick uh, uh, pork broth. And then there were a whole lot of noodles. A lot of noodles. And there was an egg that I think was cooked in the broth... And it was delicious. And then there's a bunch of um, cut up green onions and uh, a piece of braised pork and some bamboo sprouts. And oh, it's so good. A little salty, but really good. But I tell you, oh, it's a lot of food. But if you like ramen, and you can find an actual ramen shop nearby, it's worth giving a try. Another thing I was thinking, one of the things that makes Roblox so popular these days is the fact that it can be highly customized using uh, Lua, you know, the Lua programming language. And of course, with Minecraft, you can create mods and sort of custom game types too, but not really the way you can with Roblox. I mean, with Roblox, it's, it's built right into the system. And I used to play, or at least I played a demo of a game a long time ago, where in the game, there were computer terminals you could go to. And interacting with them was part of how you played the game. But the game also came with its own little programming language you could use to create little games and programs for those computer terminals. So if you created a game for one of them, then in the game, you could go to the computer terminal and load up whatever other game you had created and play it inside of the other game. It was a, a pretty interesting idea. And I was thinking it'd be interesting if something like that could be done for Minecraft. Now, I think I have seen one time uh, a computer terminal before, but it was in some sci-fi mod pack thing. But it would be interesting if they somehow extended the base Minecraft to allow for games to be created within Minecraft other than the, the modding way that's done now or using some sort of redstone contraption. So that way, you know, you could like go to an arcade in Minecraft and play some retro games or something or some retro style games that other people had made 
or maybe some two-player retro-style games against other people or with other people that were in the arcade with you. I think that would definitely be one way to add a, a little uniqueness to Minecraft. Speaking of uniqueness, what do we have here? Is, is this the remnants of an old base? Yeah, it must be because this isn't owned at all. But I don't really want to take it. I think I know what we need to do. Oak logs, oak planks. Take some of these oak planks, turn them into sticks. Now let's see, to make a sign, you get a stick. And you'd want a, one of these and one of those. Yeah, oak sign. Put those back in the inventory. Hey, look at, look at this. Sir Nigel was here. There. Yeah, that's a, that's a nice thing. Oh boy, look at this base. Looks like they've put some time into this one. This is Royal Van's base. Whichever faction that is, it's probably Royal Van's faction, would be my guess. Perhaps. Super dark. Look at all the obsidian. And of course, we can't do anything there. I wonder if that's actually meant to slow someone, or if it's just decorative. Oh, wow. Quite the base. Any messages for friendly visitors anywhere? Nope. Doesn't look like it. Well... I suppose if you wanted to attack this base, you would have to just head off in this direction a little bit. Let's see. How far? Head off in this direction. Say, right about here. And bombard from here. I wonder what's at the top of this tower. Let's find out. If anything, maybe, maybe not. Maybe there isn't anything at the top of the tower. But we gotta check. Whoa, holy crap home. Bye, guys. So, uh, <laughs> that's what's at the, uh, top of the tower. It's a good thing I left all of my interesting stuff at home. <laughs> well, that'll do it for this one. <laughs>